How to use monday.com Hi guys, welcome back to the Imminent HD channel. Today, I'm showing you around how to use monday.com, which is a very famous project management software. So let's get started. Now, all you have to do is just go to monday.com and the login process for monday.com is completely easy. All you have to do is just log in with your email address and set up a reasonable password. So once you are set up with your monday.com, this is what you get. On monday.com, you will see all of these different options that will help you manage your workspace better so you can see right here that this is the main workspace that they have actually customized so what i can do is i can simply go here and if i want to add a new workspace i will simply click on add workspace so i have named my workspace imminent hd now all i have to do is just go to logo and on logo i can actually select any of this logo that i want to and you can just give it your favorite color once you have set up your logo and given your workspace a name, all I have to do is just click on create workspace. So once you create your workspace, this is where I can actually, you know, add different bots, members and different privacy settings and templates. We can work on more than one workspace at a time. For example, you can check right here that there is a one main workspace and then I created imminent HD. Now I will create different boards and templates on my workspace. So what's going to happen is I can simply click on add a board. Now board is a place where I can actually, you know, assign different people, different tasks. I can add different templates, documents and designs if I want to. So for our boards, they have actually given us different templates. So let's just go with this one. Simply click on use. Now they're creating my board for my workspace. And there you go. They have created a board for me. Now you can see this is the board that they have actually given me. This is a template. And now I will customize this template according to me. So first of all, we're going to name this template or board. Let's just say tutorial videos. Now this is what my board will work around. Now I can actually add different items into my board. You can simply click on new item. And once you do that, now this is where I can actually add an item. So I will just simply name my new item. Let's just say I named my item how to use monday.com, which is just a topic for my tutorial video. So what I'm going to do is I will simply click on add. Once I do that, you will see that they have created this item for me. Now the progress will be logged here. Now, if I want to add any tie for this project or item, I can simply go ahead and do that. There are different labels that you can actually create. So what's going to happen is let's just keep it to test. But if I wanted to create another item or another label, I will simply click on add or added label and I can add new label. So you can see right here, I have added this label of completed because I want my assignee to label it completed once they are done. So what I'm gonna do is I can actually, you know, give these different labels, different colors to just keep it organized and distinguishable. So I'm gonna apply for that. And now if I want to add it into the completed, I will simply do that. Once I do that, then there is also an option of timeline. So where I can actually set different dates if I want to. For example, if this project had any timeline, so I will just simply click on four and maybe one. Whatever the date is, you will just simply click on that and it will be added. After that, priority now if you have a priority of your different tasks for example when we work on different projects there are different priority levels so i want this project to be completed as early as possible so i will click on hi now product owned now here i will actually add an assignee to this now the people i have right now is only me so if I want to invite any of the member, I will simply invite them to their email address. So once you're done with that, this is how you actually add any item into your any of your boards. Now, if I want to delete any board, for example, this one, I can simply click right here and then delete. Once I do that, that item has been deleted. There you go. If I want to delete an item, I will simply click right here and delete. There you go. It's super easy to add any item right here. Now. 
this is what the main table looks like now there is another option which is the workload here we can actually see what are different assignees that we have uh, what different projects are being done in a time so you can actually this is kind of like a calendar view of what's happening on your main table so if i want to add any new table according to a certain date i will simply add right here then there is a status where we actually see that what percent of the work is being done and what percent is already done how many assignees are working how many assignees are unassigned so this is where you can actually you know get this pie chart of what's happening on your main table type of work when we go to type of work you can see right here this is also a pie view of what's happening on your main table you can see right here that this is for infra charges then this is for completed so this will give you an idea that what's happening on your monday.com how many percent of the work is being done and how many percent is already done and here you can actually see different lists so the work we did on main table this is where you will actually see it in the form of these charts and lists so if you like this kind of view you know uh when it comes to uh the sticky notes and stuff like that so you can actually you know go ahead come here and check this view out these are all different views of your main table of how you are working on your table you can actually you know check them out in different views so if i want to add an item here as simple as that you just simply name your item and you can just simply click on add once you do that your item is added so if i want to add any new view for example i want to see it in the form of chats i will simply click on chat timeline table forms file and cards so you can actually you know go ahead and add any new view into your workspace if you want to check out your main table in any other form you so you can simply come here and do that after after that if you want to search any of your list or board you will simply click on search and type the name of what you're searching for and they will definitely take you there then there is an option of person if you want to search a project filter by person for example a certain person you're looking for that you said okay i assigned this task to this person and i want to see what they are doing you will simply type in the person's name and it will take you there after that you can see right here that there's an option of integrate now the good thing about monday.com is that there is whole integration center where you can actually go ahead and add all of these different options all of these different integrations that you can actually avail on monday.com so what happens is if i come on integration center you will see all of these different options for example if i want to integrate any of this other softwares for example if i want to integrate my gmail slack trello shopify zoom microsoft teams onedrive and box and toggle and hubspot so i can just simply go ahead and integrate into my workspace and that integration is added right here that you can actually then avail for your board and your workspace very easily so once you are done with the integrations we know how to add different views let me take you to add to new board now when it comes to adding a new board you will get all of these different options now you want your board to be in the group form column view integrations and other stuff so i will click on add to board and let's go to column so you can come to the option of add to board now this is what my board looks like if i want to add any new group into my board if i want to add any column view integration automations app and dashboard i can just simply go ahead and do that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you that how you can add a column into your group add into your board and what's going to happen is i have added this column into my board right here so if i go to main table now you will see right here that this is where we actually created all of different items so one more thing that uh, we didn't actually change this is where you will you know actually see all of this information this was already there so i'm just gonna you know um delete this one out we can add our description right here so we're just gonna add you know you can just type anything right here so once that done you will see that this is the title this is uh, the description these are different views these are integration but when it comes to all of these different options as well search person filter sort and then there is pin columns if 
I want to pin any of the column on my uh, monday.com, I will simply click on pin column. If there are any hidden columns, I can just simply go ahead and do that as well. Then if I want to, uh, you know, customize them or sort them out to the height, I can do that. If you want to change any colors, you will simply click on that. And if you want to add any default options, you can do that as well. It's super simple to use when it comes to monday.com. There is no complicated stuff. Once you are, you know, you get familiar with the stuff, you know how to add an item, then it's, it's super easy. So you can see right here, when you create a workspace, then there are different software developments. The one we created is tutorial videos, but others as we selected a template and in that template, there are different options for software development. What we can do is you can actually, you know, add different boards into your one workspace right so our board was tutorial videos but there are also other boards given so if i go to this one right here so you can just simply name it whatever you want add description and the boards all of the boards work the same but what's going to happen here is you can see that they have given me the template for initiatives so if i want to add another board for initiatives i will just simply click on you know add all of these initiatives right here now it's just about the wording guys there's nothing to be worried about what you're gonna do is add initiative means adding new item so you will just simply click on add new item and we know uh, I can just simply add anything I want to and click on add once I do that you will see it has been added if I want to add any problem or any text right here i will simply click on this button and i will type so you can just simply add any of the text right here owner will be added here the assignee if there is any priority level i will just simply click on that so this is how you know all of these different boards work and i can you know jump from one board to another very easily and if i want to hide it it will just simply go away so this is what one of my workspace looks like if i want to go to any other workspace i will simply click on that workspace and it will definitely take me there when you go to a workspace you can see the members right here right now it's just one member which is me because i just created this account and then if there is an option of permission which is for the enterprise now you can see the version i am using right now of monday.com it is completely free but there is an enterprise as well there are different plans the plan you will select will actually you know allow you to avail all of these different options as well but i'm using the free plan and you can check out that how many different options i am actually getting this is actually the free trial that i am using and i am availing all of these different options so this is how the workspace works and notifications of course where you will see all of your different notifications unread i was mentioned assigned to me notifications have been divided into these different categories for you to be able to get organized really easily and you know you will be able to distinguish all of your notifications easily if i go right here if i want to do any settings for the notifications i will simply go to the settings then there is an option of inbox which is very cool you have the option of inbox right here where people will actually inbox you in your inbox you will actually see all of these different inboxes that you are getting uh, again inbox view options and updates i was mentioned all updates so inbox option is for the updates as well when we go to my work now this is actually one of the new options that monday.com has allowed what happens on my work is that this is just for me for example i have created all of these different workspace right so what happens is if i have added more than one member or uh, I have 10 members 20 members so I have this workspace shared with them but when it comes to my work in my workspace I will actually see all of these different tasks that were just assigned to me for example if I am in a workspace what will happen is that I will be able to see what other people are doing as well. But if you, you know, like to keep it for to yourself and you just want to check out that where you stand, what are the tasks that were assigned to you, you will simply see that all of that options in my workspace. And then there is an app option, which is same as I showed you, which is the integration options. Invite member, you will simply click on invite member and you will type their email address. 
and I can actually, you know, send this email to as many people as I want to. And I will simply click on invite. Once I do that, you can see my invitation has been sent. It was super easy. So once your invitation is sent, they will accept it and they will be logged into your workspace right here on monday.com. This is where I will simply click and here I will actually see all of these different options again in one click. For example, my profile, import data, integrations, recycle bin. If you have deleted any task by mistake, you will simply come on recycle bin and you can actually restore it. If you do not want to restore, it you will simply click on cross and it will be removed from the recycle bin and it will be removed forever but if you want to you know if you have deleted any task by mistake don't worry just go to recycle bin and you'll be able to restore it again so yeah guys this is how you use monday.com i just wanted to give you this overall tutorial for monday.com it is super easy to use and i hope that i was a big help to you and now you will be able to use monday.com for your work and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel